Chapter 8 The Lord said to Moses, Now bring Aaron and his sons along with their special clothing, the anointing oil, the bull of the sin offering, the two rams, and the basket of unleavened bread to the entrance of the tabernacle. Then call the entire community of Israel to meet you there. So Moses followed the Lord's instructions, and all the people assembled at the tabernacle entrance. Moses announced to them, The Lord has commanded what I am now going to do. Then he presented Aaron and his sons and washed them with water. He clothed Aaron with the embroidered tunic and tied the sash around his waist. He dressed him in the robe of the ephod, along with the ephod itself, and attached the ephod with its decorative sash. Then Moses placed the chest piece on Aaron and put the urim and the thummim inside it. He placed on Aaron's head the turban with the gold medallion at its front, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses took the anointing oil and anointed the tabernacle and everything in it, thus making them holy. He sprinkled the altar seven times, anointing it and all its utensils and the wash basin and its pedestal, making them holy. Then he poured some of the anointing oil on Aaron's head, thus anointing him and making him holy for his work. Next Moses presented Aaron's sons, and clothed them in their embroidered tunics, their sashes, and their turbans, just as the Lord had commanded him. Then Moses brought in the bull for the sin offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head as Moses slaughtered it. Moses took some of the blood, and with his finger he put it on the four horns of the altar to purify it. He poured out the rest of the blood at the base of the altar, in this way he set the altar apart as holy, and made atonement for it. He took all the fat around the internal organs, the lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys in their fat, and he burned them all on the altar. The rest of the bull, including its hide, meat, and dung, was burned outside the camp, just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Then Moses presented the ram to the Lord for the whole burnt offering, and Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head as Moses slaughtered it. Then Moses took the ram's blood and sprinkled it against the sides of the altar. Next he cut the ram into pieces and burned the head, some of its pieces, and the fat on the altar. After washing the internal organs and the legs with water, Moses burned the entire ram on the altar as a whole burnt offering. It was an offering given to the Lord by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. All this was done just as the Lord had commanded Moses. Next Moses presented the second ram, which was the ram of ordination. Aaron and his sons laid their hands on its head as Moses slaughtered it. Then Moses took some of its blood and put it on the lobe of Aaron's right ear, the thumb of his right hand, and the big toe of his right foot. Next he presented Aaron's sons and put some of the blood on the lobe of their right ears, the thumb of their right hands, and the big toe of their right feet. He then sprinkled the rest of the blood against the sides of the altar. Next he took the fat, including the fat from the tail, the fat around the internal organs, the lobe of the liver, and the two kidneys with their fat along with the right thigh. On top of these he placed a loaf of unleavened bread, a cake of unleavened bread soaked with olive oil, and a thin wafer spread with olive oil. All these were taken from the basket of bread, made without yeast, that was placed in the Lord's presence. He gave all of these to Aaron and his sons, and he presented the portions by lifting them up before the Lord. Moses then took all the offerings back and burned them on the altar on top of the burnt offering as an ordination offering. It was an offering given to the Lord by fire, very pleasing to the Lord. Then Moses took the breast and lifted it up in the Lord's presence. This was Moses' share of the ram of ordination, just as the Lord had commanded him. Next Moses took some of the anointing oil and some of the blood that was on the altar, and he sprinkled them on Aaron and his clothing and on his sons and their clothing. In this way he made Aaron and his sons and their clothing holy. Then Moses said to Aaron and his sons, Boil the rest of the meat at the tabernacle entrance, and eat it along with the bread that is in the basket of ordination offerings, just as I commanded you. Any meat or bread that is left over must then be burned up. Do not leave the tabernacle entrance for seven days, for that is the time it will take to complete the ordination ceremony. What has been done today was commanded by the Lord in order to make atonement for you. 
Remember, you must stay at the entrance of the tabernacle day and night for seven days, doing everything the Lord requires. If you fail in this, you will die. This is what the Lord has said. So Aaron and his sons did everything the Lord had commanded through Moses.